I got, uh, come on, focus. <laughs> I got several things going on today. I'm just going to do a little short snippets of my videos. And as I progress, look at the size of that stupid cucumber. My God. But the bigger they get, the, the more bitter taste they have. These have been pretty good. And, uh. Uh, they do have a bit of a bitter taste to them. I should have picked it when it was about that big, but I missed these two somehow. All right, on to the next project. This is one of my water tanks here, and uh, I drain it and refill it. This is city water in here. And, uh, drain it and refill it. Oh, damn it. Ain't that something. This is chlorinated water. Apparently, I didn't do this early enough. I was reading uh, the only survival blog that I go to, thesurvivalistblog.net, and uh, one of the comments there <laughs> reminded me that I hadn't done this in a while. But this is okay. I can clean this all out and uh, bleach it. I'm glad I, I got two days to do this, so I'm glad I stumbled across that comment. It was River Rider that did that. Uh, if you're looking for a preparedness blog that is not, you know, on the fringe, uh, no bomb making goes on there, uh, common sense advice and uh, people who share ideas. Uh, you ought to check out the survivalist blog dot net. It's my favorite blog, my favorite uh, survival preparedness related blog. Oh, this is water in my garden, by the way. The survivalist blog dot net. It's the only one I go to. Check it out. There's Big Mama. You can tell which one Big Mama is. That is Sarah. And Ruthie is still on her nest over there, still uh, trying to hatch out them eggs. These, this is one of the babies, believe it or not. <laughs> there's two babies right there. And there's uh, still a small one. Let's see, there's the fourth one. Okay, if you have uh, followed my chickens at all, you'll remember that I had my nesting boxes inside here, which was not a good idea so uh i ended up building them out here which is okay you know they seem to like it better out here and it's a whole lot easier to get to oh by the way i got my spoiled chicken ceiling fans hung up hello ruthie hello girl how you doing no, I'm, you know, I'm not going to take your eggs. Everything's cool. It's all good, baby. I'm not taking your eggs. Okay. I'll leave you one. So, uh, they're hard to clean out. And I do get a busted egg in there one time, and uh, the yolk breaks, and then it attracts ants, so i got to come out here with a putty knife and pull the hay out and scrape the yolk up off the uh, wood so they're really hard to manage uh, MD Creekmore over at the survivalist blog.net yep I mentioned it again he has these on his chicken house I've seen hit uh, a few times in pictures and uh, I didn't know where to get them and I never asked him but I thought you know these are plastic and they come off real easy they got to be way easier to clean so I found two of them at Tractor Supply, and they're only 20 bucks each. So uh, if I can find a few more, uh, I'm going to take this apart and put them up because uh, it just makes sense to have something you can clean on a regular basis since they do bust eggs. Not all the time, but when they do, you sure want to clean the yolk out because uh, ants, it's like a calling card for ants. So uh, I got just enough room here, just enough room for one. And I'm going to put one of these just inside here right around here and uh, the reason I'm doing that is because uh, if I have another hand go broody 
uh, I'll let her sit in there away from the other chickens uh, where she won't be bothered and uh, I hope I do have another one go broody because it's been kind of fun uh, she has busted two of the eggs Ruthie has uh, not her uh, other chickens have got up in there when she's gotten out and laid their eggs and and uh, with all the walking around and trying to move them she's busted a couple of them somebody has so I got two eggs under her now that I Assume are fertilized. We'll know around the 10th or 11th if uh, all this has been for, for not. <laughs> but it's been fun. It's been a learning experience. This whole chicken house has, which is why I've moved my uh, nesting boxes and experimented with building them. And uh, I'm convinced that plastic is the way to go in a chicken house because they're far, far more easier to clean. And uh, all right, let's get started. I'm fixing to hang these up. That didn't take long. What do you think there, Rhode Island Red? Oh, <laughs> there, was a, there was already one in there. <laughs> Man, that did not, have you already laid an egg? No. All right, it's okay, girls, I'm, I'm leaving. Okay, got the other one in here. And uh, I like it. And if I find uh, more as I can afford them, I'll, I'll buy a few more just because uh, they're so much easier to clean and they got a roof on them and it's pitched where they can't get on it. Uh, all, the, all the birds get up on top of that and I got to clean all the chicken crap off of it. So, uh, I'm happy. Next, I gotta do feed and water. I gotta scrub out their water bowl and refill their feed. So, uh, let me go check my water drum, see how low that is. And then I'm gonna get a long brush and clean that up. My wife and I bought this, uh, six and a half foot tall by, uh, uh, four and a half foot by four and a half foot. Actually, it's almost five foot by five foot. Uh, Sixteen shelves. Thirty bucks at Tractor Supply. Thirty bucks on clearance. And this was the only one. If they had another one, we'd have bought it. Uh, I think we're going to set it up back here. But we'll see. Marka, by God. That dog uh, got down out of my lap to go over there and get on top of the potting soil and lay out in the sun. Who do you think you are? And what am I, chopped liver? Thought you were my buddy. Okay, you see that oak tree right there? My wife and I, we like to drink coffee. And we like to drink coffee out here underneath this oak tree. I was thinking... Since I like being underneath the tree, and I like drinking coffee, I want to build me a little platform up there where I could set a chair up in the tree and drink coffee. And my wife says they'd come carry me away. What do you think? Is it just too crazy? Is it weird? Am I going to the, to the bin, the loony bin? I told you they wouldn't do it for very long. <sighs> Come on, tweet. You were tweeting up a storm a minute ago. <laughs> They're not making a sound now. Okay. All right. So, are they doing it? Oh, I got to do this, huh? Yeah. Okay, uh, turns out there was not algae in here. It was sand that had settled out of that water. Man, we got some dirty, dirty water here in uh, northern Idaho at my secret uh, bug out location. Yeah, this is what northern Idaho looks like. Take my word for it. So anyway, 
Uh, I'm going to refill it with water. And then, uh, after careful calculation and rechecking all my mathematical figures and mix ratios, I have come to the conclusion that this amount of water needs exactly two plugs of bleach. Okay. I'm nothing if not methodical. All right, this is done. I'll give you about 20 minutes. This will be full. And uh, in another six months, when somebody else reminds me that I've got water out here I need to tend to, I'll drain it and refill it. All right, let's see. What else am I going to do? I got a lot of stuff to do. What am I going to do next? I have to ask my wife. Yeah, they're tweeting. <laughs> Cute little things, huh? Did you get to see him? Okay, uh, I didn't tell a lot of people this, but my wife and I, we kind of hit the lottery a little bit, and uh, we decided to take some of our hard-won money and uh, invest in a pool. We've always wanted a pool, so uh, I'm fixing to get in. All right, everybody get in the pool. Come on, everybody get in. Come on. Yeah, Sony wants in. All right. Ah. <laughs> oh, look, look. Her biker fringe is floating. Oh, her biker fringe is floating. Isn't yeah. that something? Come on, Lucy, get in the pool. Come on, get Lucy. Come, come on, on Lucy, get in the pool. Get in the pool. <laughs> Breezy, come on. Get in the pool, boy. Come on. Come on, get in the pool. Come on, Breezy. Come on. Everybody got to get in the pool. Come on. I'm going to get my raft. <laughs> yeah. Well, look, I'll put a little tree there and we can pretend it's a palm that'll tree. That'll give us some shade. Yeah, a little palm tree. <laughs> what is that doing there anyway? Oh, you're... It up. Okay. It's, in, it's in the water bowl. Where are you putting that? Somewhere. And what is it? Antenna. Antenna. I knew that. Okay. Hey, I like the pool. They're, oh, they're we, getting out because they yeah. just ate and they oh. don't want to get cramped. We love to pull. We love to pull. I hear thunder, but we have no rain. Come on, rain. Don't get pass get us by again. Sonny, get in the pool. Come on, Sonny. Come on. Come, Come on, on, Sonny. Hey, your little tutu. Come on, Sonny. Hey, look at your little tutu. It's floating. And it's back her face. <laughs> Lucy does not like her to get in the pool. Why do you think that is? I don't know. Every time she gets in there, she starts shoving her out. Do you think we? Do you think we were reckless when we spent all our money on this pool? Yeah, we might have. Should have saved it for our retirement. Yeah. Okay. Let me go check my. Uh, Water. See how much I got in there. Oh yeah, we don't we don't drink beer. We don't drink alcohol. Right, it's halfway. I'll let you decide if it's half full or half empty. With me, it's always half full. Always. My wife wants to ask you something. Well, I dug all this. Uh, I was going to clean this bed out, and this is what came back up. I know so, what everything is except this. You mean all the stuff in here you did not plant? Well, I planted it a long time ago. You mean at, this has come up since you dug it up? Yeah. I didn't oh, that's get amazing. Root, didn't get all the roots up. And I know what everything is, lantana. And uh, I'm not real sure, but this is some kind of lantana that goes crazy. Because it actually started over there. I remember that. And now it's here. It even went underneath the concrete. How is that possible? I don't know, but it went underneath the concrete. Okay, anybody know what, what this is? What is that? I think it's a weed. Maybe we can eat it. I don't know. It has a smell. Or smoke it. It smells like a weed. Well, um, maybe we should dry it out. Put it in a corn cob pipe. Yeah, I don't know. There's a bunch of them, so that yeah. tells me it's probably a weed. There's some more over there. Yeah. Who knows? It might be weed. It's a very interesting looking weed. It hasn't flowered or anything, has it? Not yet. No. Well, if anybody can tell us what this is, shoot us a line. All right, we are finally getting some rain. I'm full. This will be good for another six months. Now, uh, I have water in my house. And I've, I've showed you that enough times. And, uh, 
every year on my birthday I uh, drain it and refill it <sighs> probably all together I probably got about 300 gallons of water inside the house and then uh, y'all know I got my over there is my well my hand dug well so I don't think water is going to be an issue with me and if it ever is right through the woods back here just a couple hundred yards is Dorchy Bayou and uh, <clears throat> I have gone down there and dipped water out of that and I came back here and I ran it through my distiller and I drank it and uh, if you have followed my channel for any length of time <clears throat> I've drank that water on more than one occasion using a couple of different methods of uh, water purification all right I'm closing this up and uh, next I'm gonna bring those knives back over to Hattie my next-door neighbor and uh, I'm gonna get the rest of her knives and sharpen them probably tomorrow that's a nice rain right there a little bit windy but uh we really needed it because it's been a few days Nice. Thank you, Lord. <laughs>